Hey traders, TG Watkins here, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about trading around a holiday. Of course, we've got a few of them sprinkled in throughout the year, and so I think it's important to discuss some of the things that might be happening to the market as we either approach or uh, go over a holiday and how that might affect your kind of trading. So here are a couple of notes that I put up here just so we can kind of look at it and follow along. Uh, one thing to consider is that volume dries up. So think about like a bigger holiday, maybe a uh, Christmas or Thanksgiving, something like that, where kind of a bigger national holiday, it's a whole season to where, you know, people are starting to leave for vacation or family or traveling. And what they're doing is they're basically not interested in whatever the market's doing. They uh, are away from their computers, their desks, uh, the active traders are kind of toned down a little bit. You know, it's holidays. It's um, people just want to be around with their family and do other things. And so we kind of all know that. And so you need to understand that volume tends to dry up, which basically means a lack of liquidity. Now, that can be important for a few things. I've had it to where, you know, we come in maybe the day before Christmas or the day between Christmas and New Year's, and you're all ready to go and trade and get excited with that. And you step in there and not much is going on. Like the, the price just isn't moving. So you're thinking, well, what's going on? Well, it's because a lot of people aren't at their computers actually pushing buttons and, you know, enacting price action. So that's something to consider. And if you are trading with size, even options or even stock, you need to understand that there may not be a lot of liquidity for you in order to get in or get out without a large spread or a large gap between the buy and sell, the bid ask. Uh, and then same thing with the options. You know, there may not be much activity. And so that could affect how you are getting in out of the market. So either no price action like that or because there are not a lot of people trading, it's going to take a little, a, a small group of people in order to push price because the bid ask is so wide or, you know, a large amount of money can come in and just push price because there's nobody else affecting it. So that is something to consider is it's kind of like a leaf in the wind, It's a little bit erratic and it could get pushed around very easily just because there's not a whole lot of other people pushing and causing price to, uh, you know, in the auction to move around. So that's something to consider. Um, so either erratic or just flat, there's not much. We also tend to see this leading up to the FOMC. So when the uh, Fed talks about their interest rates, basically from their FOMC meeting, we oftentimes see the market just go real quiet, at least a couple hours ahead of it, and usually for the day uh, of the FOMC, because the FOMC is the last two hours of the day. So interesting to kind of look at that and be prepared for it. Um, yes, yeah, so we talked about enough volume to get in and out of your trade. So especially in options, you need to make sure you got that. And then um, you need to know when the holidays are. And sometimes we have half days and you need to know, uh, well, what does a half day mean? Is you know, What time do we close? What time is open? Uh, if you're in the bond market, that can matter too. And then also other holidays for other countries can affect their stock, stock markets too. So make sure you know the special holiday dates and times. And then for those of you who trade options, I'm not really much of an options trader, so I can't speak too much about this, but understand the Black-Scholes mathematical equation and also theta burn. Now, of course, the weekend is usually factored into this with that equation so that the, you know, it's prepared so that otherwise people would be taking advantage of the weekend and they want to make sure they discourage that. So the same kind of goes for holidays. Make sure that whether you're buying or selling options, you understand how that math works for theta decay and all the other Greeks when it comes to options over the holiday. And then a couple major holidays, uh, things that we should know about in regard to some of the common sayings. Uh, first, sell in May, go away. Uh, it's it's kind of true. You know, there is a period at some point in May that the market does usually get sold off pretty hard. So it's not, it's not necessarily May 1st. It tends, to, uh, my experience tends to be kind of in the middle of May, like middle, early May. So be aware of that. Um, and then that kind of signals the beginning of summer for the market. And what that means is a lot of traders, a lot of hedge funds, a lot of firms, you know, the, the big people in there with their going out to their Hamptons, you know, just people are out for the summer. Kids are out, uh, even traders like me and other people that have kids, you know, since their kids are out of school, they're going to take them on family vacations. They're going to go to the beach. They're going to be doing all these things and they're just not around the market to effectuate stuff. So, you know, summer, summer doldrums, you know, can be a little bit quiet as far as movement. And again, that can make for some erratic um, price functioning. And then uh, just got to be careful because, you know, it's kind of like, you know, smaller group of people trading at the market during the summer. Uh, then we know about the Santa Claus rally. 
typically going into the end of the year, you know, we leading up to Christmas, but it can also be right up until the end of the year. There is usually a spurt where the market does like to go up. Of course, this is not always true. We've seen this in 2018 when the Fed was really tightening stuff. The Santa Claus rally didn't actually happen until the next year when they reversed their interest rate hikes. So, you know, it's not always perfect, but you know, that idea, we the market tends to want some window dressing. They want to make their numbers look good, you know, going into the holidays. People are usually happy, uplifted, and they want to have a good time going into the holidays. So you know, you typically don't want to get too smashed uh, with your price and market and stuff like that going into the holidays. And then also 4th of July. There tends to be a bullish run into the 4th of July. Maybe it's a rah-rah America type, type thing. So that's another thought. Uh, but yeah, historically leading up and into the 4th of July can be bullish. So, you know, there is some seasonality to some of these holidays. So may, pay attention to that and see if you can take advantage of it. All right, guys. Well, there you go. That's a little bit of uh, talk about how to trade around a holiday and what you need to be aware of when you're doing so. So, uh, yeah, do a little bit more research. Hopefully this helps you out and enjoy the good trading out there. Thanks, guys. Without simpler trading, I could not have financial independence. This is one of the best investments I ever made in my life. It's helping me find consistency. It's one of the things that won me 